Hey guys, me back again. I've decided to do a, another video about how I got into med school and my story, but I've decided to do it in a slightly different style. So hopefully you guys enjoy. This definitely took me a lot longer to edit. So, so this probably isn't going to be the way I edit all my videos, but I just thought I'll give it a try. Be sure to try and get this video to 20 likes. I will see you guys in my next video. Hello, it's your favorite try up growing medical student here. Today we're going to be doing a different sort of video. Right, so in this video I'm going to be telling you the story of how I got into medical school. And I'm sure you'll find it as informative as it is entertaining. Because it's a sort of interesting topic and it might even help someone thinking of applying now. So I'm going to try and make the video I would have searched for back in the day while I was applying. As a current third year I went through the application process back in 2017-ish. Back when uh, Battle Royale games were new. Dark Souls The Ring City DLC had just come out. So before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and you want more medical school videos, be sure to subscribe. It's free. At the time of filming this video, we're actually on 44 subscribers. You could be our 45th. As always, this video is broken into timestamps, so you can actually skip to the part of the video that you're most interested in if you want to. Work experience and volunteering. In my uh, first year of college, I forced myself to join a society called the Medics Academy. Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you sane folk. This was basically a congregation of students vaguely interested in studying medicine. So it was a once a week society thing. And it was here where the application process for medicine was outlined to me and the need for work experience was explained. So I got on the phone, contacted my local care home and explained my circumstances. Care home. Okay. Care home. First, take a big step back. And literally let me volunteer so the care home got back to me and hooked me up with a placement one day a week for a few hours as i was unqualified for anything other than chatting and watching tv with the residents i ended up just spending the majority of the time watching the chase on repeat which was it was kind of fun i also managed to get a week shadowing in my local hospital mainly just standing in the corner and watching stuff happen but it's kind of interesting as well so the take-home message is it doesn't matter what work experience you get as long as you can make it sound like you're interested in it and reflect on it could probably play surgeon simulator 2 and call that experience I'm for the hell. it's a joke don't actually do that but i am curious now, moving on to the personal statement. He's pissing me off! No, it's him! This is essentially the equivalent to the Lord of Cinder when it comes to getting into medical school. Especially for anyone who's crap at English like myself. So I found the personal statement way too much effort. So my biggest advice would be start it early, check for spelling mistakes because you don't want any of them, look at examples and see what they've written, and don't be afraid to cross the whole thing out and start again. But my personal statement was probably mediocre, so I'm not the person that should be giving you advice on this, so let's move on. So now we're moving on to the UK cat, or the UCAT. What is the UCAT? Basically it's shape questions, adding questions, situational questions, reading questions, and some ethical questions sprinkled in there. It's essentially an aptitude test, something that's quite hard to prepare for. So when I was preparing for my UK cat, I had a book that looked like this, full of questions. The first time I looked through the book, I could literally do none of them, let alone under a time restriction. But after many weeks of looking at arrows on a page, I managed to kill the Nameless King, aka answer a few questions. But for those of you who've played Dark Souls 3, you'll know the Nameless King has a second phase. For me this was verbal reasoning. As a dyslexic individual, this was my kryptonite. Many weeks had passed. It was the day of my UK CAT exam. I sat down at my desk in the exam centre, surrounded by the clicking of mice of individuals taking the theory driving test. I slowly looked up at the fossilised Windows XP CRT monitor in front of me. The exam had started. Basically, I ended up guessing 90% of the verbal reasoning questions and somehow passed with a mark that got me into uni. So, the take home message is, if there's a section of the UK cat you're not very good at, it's not the end of the world. Practice all the questions and gain marks on the sections you're good at. So next we're going on to the interview. Time has passed. 
I've sent off my UCAS application. I received two interviews. My first interview was at the University of Manchester. This was an MMI interview that consisted of multiple mini interviews. Just a side point, if any of you want me to do a video on my interview experience, let me know in the comment section below. So, the night before my first ever interview to med school, I was shitting myself. I can compare this feeling to being deep within a Minecraft cave, and suddenly, the spooky cave music plays. But, the interview didn't go as badly as I thought it was going to go. I put this down to my fresh barnet. A few weeks later I got an offer from them, so I must have performed okay. But, sometime later I got invited to an interview at Liverpool Uni. I rocked up feeling less stressed as I had already been given an offer from Manchester. This interview was also an MMI and played out rather similar to that of Manchester's interview. Sometime later I also got an offer from Liverpool. Now I had a hard decision to make. It was now time to choose which uni I was going to place as my first choice. Both unis looked nice. Both unis were equally as far away from where I lived. I ended up basing my final decision on the weather on the day. It was hailing during my Liverpool interview, so I chose Manchester. Next we're going to move on to A-levels. The only thing standing in my way was results day. Like the wooden gate in the first level of Commando 2. This is an inside joke by the way, um, I didn't know how to change the weapons. It's Q, all I had to do was press Q. But it worked out alright, on results day 2018 I secured myself a place at the University of Manchester Med School. Happy days. 